Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Madden NFL 16 playthrough. The 9-6 Washington Redskins will be on the road against the 6-9 New Orleans Saints. Now, this is going to be a very big game. It's going to be very important. It's going to determine whether or not we're actually going to be able to make the playoffs this year, whether or not we're going to squeak into the wild card. Let's go ahead and check these standings. This will be the regular season finale for Season 4 here. And as you guys can see, oh my gosh. Woo. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to make the playoffs. Wait, that's the entire NFL. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just had just a, a, a dumb moment right there. I'm looking like, how are there so many good teams in the NFC? I was looking at the whole NFL. Let's look at the NFC, shall we? Now, it would appear that only two teams have actually gone ahead and clinched a playoff spot. That will be the Eagles and the Seahawks. Now, it's looking pretty good for us, actually. Um, if we win, I think it's going to all but guarantee a spot for us in the playoffs because we would have 10 wins. And even if the Lions also win, uh, they would also have 10 wins. So the top six teams would all have 10 wins, assuming uh, we win and the Lions win. Um, the only way that we wouldn't be able to clinch a playoff spot is if we lost. We drop a 9-7. The Lions potentially win. The Bears potentially win. Um, then we may not be able to make it in by like one spot. That's if the Bears win and we lose. So, and maybe the Lions lose too. Um, but again, I think the Lions are going to make it regardless. So, yeah. Um, it's not guaranteed. We have a pretty good shot, I would say, of actually, um, of actually making the playoffs here. So, that's actually great. We're going to be at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome against the New Orleans Saints. And... This may be my... Huh, I didn't think of it that way. I may, I may have played my last home game as a Redskin already. We're on the road here, so that's obviously not the same. But uh, just something to bear in mind. Let's go ahead and change these jerseys. This is what we're wearing in our last away game. What should we rock this week? I think all whites. All whites sound good. I like the all white jerseys, although they, they're like cursed to me. I don't know. We always seem to do kind of like poorly with the white jerseys, I've noticed. But let's go ahead and rock these. The old 2000s home throwbacks against the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans with the regular season finale here for Season 4. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys when the game actually launches. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches on their way. It's the Saints going up against the Redskins. He has some pretty good stats, but a long of 17? That seems so odd. Whenever they show running backs in these, they always have them like an absurdly low longest carry on the season. It's really weird. I don't know if it's a bug. Maybe that's like their longest touchdown. And that's what it shows for some reason. I, I don't know. Or maybe just on the all Madden difficulty and, you know, everyone's playing on all Madden. Maybe the AI also has to play on all Madden and therefore their stats are kind of affected by that. I, I don't know. It's definitely odd to see somebody who is a leading running back who has like almost a thousand yards in the season, you know, over 10 touchdowns for that person to, you know, have a not even a long of 20. It's kind of odd. Uh, fun fact, Drew Brees is retired, or at least I believe he's retired uh, in my season here, and their quarterback is Matt Stafford. <laughs> there he is. You think, no, oh, is that Drew Brees? He's number nine. Nope, it's Matt Stafford wearing Drew Brees' number. It's uh, a little bit odd, not going to lie. Very strange. But here we are in New Orleans. I love the Saints jerseys. I used to love my first got the football way back when. Aaron Brooks, Joe Horn, Deuce McAllister. I used to love watching the Saints back then, man. But this is... Oh, we got the ball on our own five here. We may have gotten a, some kind of a turnover. But this is one of those games. It is a trap game for sure. They're 6-9, we're 9-6. We are the clear favorites here. We are on the road, but we are the clear favorites. We should win here. We just need to come away with points. Every single drive, CJ. Good job, buddy. Making something out of nothing. I will take that. Let's try that skins deep shot. Let's try it. I don't think it's going to be there. But the idea here is I want to catch Nicholas on and in. If no. Oh, oh, zoomed in camera. Zoomed in camera. Woo! Oh, wow. I They were all covering him. I thought they were all like coming after me. That was really weird pass coverage. <laughs> that was some really weird pass coverage. We're going to look for now as Paul here. Let's get this play action. Oh, oh, oh. You want to bump up on me? You want to you drop that cover three? Mm-mm. 
They're about to try and cover three me, and I say no, sir. I say no, sir. All right, I see how open he is. Block. There we go. Woo! Oh, I was hoping to get around him. I was hoping to get around him somehow. <laughs> okay, guys. Five first runners in the season. That happened literally two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> they just keep showing it for some reason. All right, what do we have here? Uh, now it's Paul Paps. Not, I'm not liking really any of these plays against this defense that they're showing us. And let's just get Kenny Britt. Oh, that's, I thought that was Kenny Britt. I'm used to Kenny Britt being there. Uh, that was Akeem Nix. Let's see here. Let's try and get CJ back involved again with the run. Uh, first runs weren't, uh, well, first carry wasn't great, but it's second inches here. This should be an easy situation for CJ to get a halfback dive in. It's a bit, uh, ah, holding, I'm assuming. It's a bit odd to, to think that this may be my last regular season game as a Redskin. Or maybe even of my NFL career. Who knows if I'll retire? I don't know. Right now, I'm not leaning towards it. Um, I think I'm going to come back. But yeah, a little bit odd, I suppose, to think of it that way. I didn't even consider that my last home game might have been my last home game as a Redskin. Then again, we don't know. Uh, we haven't seen the playoff schedule. We haven't seen if I'm going to make the playoffs yet. I may be playing as a, in the, at home in the playoffs. You know, we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, just, just something to think about. Um, if I do leave the Redskins, it'll be weird. I don't know why. I'm becoming attached to this imaginary team. It's, uh, <laughs> I think you guys are as well. Now, we're going to look for Kenny. Oh, definitely not Kenny, but definitely you. Uh, only unfortunately, he's just... Oh, oh! Hakeem really wanted that first. But he came up just short. Fourth and one. I'll punt that off. That's okay. Um, we did pretty good, I thought, on the opening drive. We did okay, and then we kind of stuttered out there. But we started, like, you know, in our own 10-yard line. Uh, so we were able to get out a little bit before we punted, which is good because it gives our punter more room to work with. Therefore, you know, they're starting on their own 20 rather than, you know, them getting the ball on our side of the field or anything like that again. So we really just kind of reset things there, which is pretty great. See, here's Matt Stafford. What do you do this season? 22 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. That's pretty much Matt Stafford in a nutshell. Uh, pretty like above average, I guess, but never great. All right, they went down and scored. All right, now the fire is lit, ladies and gentlemen. The fire has been lit under our butts. Got to get down there and score now. And okay, so say okay, the safety was coming down in zone. Oh, come on, CJ, cut out. Why would you cut in there, man? Cutting in there was silly. He needs more awareness. Cutting in there was a really silly choice. You, there was there there was like no merit to cutting in right there at all. And Mr. Nunley, come on with the drops, man. Catch, pullback. It's that simple. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Play action scissors. Play action scissors, right? Now, yeah, this looks like he'll be there. And there's a holding, so it doesn't matter. And it's going to be dropped anyway. Oh, come on! Are you serious? You let him get that? You really let him get that at the same time while we have a holding call? Oh, my God. Yay, defensive holding! No, it doesn't count because they got the turnover and... Yeah, duh. Nah. Not happy. Not happy. Oh, and they score. <laughs> Well, this week, th those past three weeks, uh, karma is catching up, I suppose, because those past three weeks were just so good. We had such good weeks all back-to-back, -back. and then we have this week, which is horrible so far. But there we go. That's our first face smash to work in ages. Who's hurt? Who's hurt? It's them? Ooh. Bird is hurt. I, if I recall correctly, he's a pretty good safety. They have a 43 back there. It looks like Darren Sproul is obviously it isn't. All right, so they lost a defender, at least temporarily, and we should try to take advantage of that and get the ball down the field. No, going deep seems silly here. I mean, I'll look for it. If it looks like it's there, I'll try it, but it isn't. And so there we just dump it off to our tight end for an easy first down. That's how we do things around here. You know, Niles, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I haven't quite gotten over the fact that you gave them that interception, but uh, I'll give you the ball because team player, man, team player. Now, yes, bump up that free safety. 
Bump up that free safety on me. Oh. Wow, Sam was really open there. I noticed it as I was falling to the ground after being hit that Sam Nunley was actually uh, very open right there. Uh, let's try some corners uh, out, of the, like, out of the mesh. Second down here. And see if we can get Hakeem Nix here. Uh, Stedman Bailey perhaps coming across as well. All right, so it's definitely going to be... Uh, well, it's going to be me scrambling with nobody blocking. Ah! Oh! With no one blocking. I really hope they would block there. But I think I need to like cross the line of scrimmage for them to actually be able to do that. Ah, that's rough. That's really rough. Because now we're in a situation where we really need this first. And nobody's like open that's like across the line. So I had to dump it down because it's not a very good play for that situation. Fourth and five here. Yeah, punt it. They have like so much momentum, I think, right now that if I were to have gone for it and failed, I'm almost certain they would have scored a touchdown. And we get a punt inside the 20. Bradley reward us for playing right. So let's hope our defense can reward us and not let them score. All right, we get the ball, and we're on the 38. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, let's just go shotgun, I think, and try to get down the field. I haven't played from behind in a while, so... I'm not comfortable right now, for sure. All right, but very open is Mr. Anderson. Now get behind your blockers. There you go. Break that tackle, buddy. Good job. Good job. There we go. I like low comfort plays like that when I, when I really need to try and get down the field. I like those plays. Um, now this is more of just a... This is usually like a last resort kind of an idea, but we're going to look for it now anyway because it works pretty well a lot of the time. Like right there. I don't know why the wide receiver typically work, gets open there, but he did. And so, I wanted to get to him. Now. Hmm. Hmm. What do, guys? What do? We're in a weird situation here. Uh, yeah, running... For some reason, I thought a run play would be smart here. We're going to do it anyway since I already called it. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, very nice. Let's just call a timeout. Let's just call a timeout. Let's ease into her, boys. Ease into it. I want the play action soft and go to work so bad, but I don't think it's going to. So I'm going to refrain from using it. Oh, this should be an easy touchdown to Kane Britt. This should be an easy touchdown to Kane Britt. If they're in cover three, which they look to be, it uh, should be an easy touchdown. And cuts inside. Easy. Good catch. Holy goodness. <laughs> that should not have been caught like that, but it was. Now we're going to go for that toss, our money toss here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get hit in the backfield. If he does, it's really going to hurt us. But, ah, uh, holding. Come on, man. Mm. Sam Brenner. I'll give it I'll give you this, Sam. You haven't been getting a lot of those called on you recently. So I'll forgive it. Although I'm not happy about it. This is looking to be Niles Paul. Uh it should probably be uh, and there's no to, no, what kind of a throw is that? <laughs> That should be an easy touchdown, man. That should be a very easy touchdown. But it was a horrible throw. Which is odd because I have a really good throw on the run. I don't know. I should have just like lobbed it to him. It should be like a game of catch out there, you know? Uh, one on one, buddy. Ah! Akeem, I'm giving you the opportunity to be a playmaker here. Uh, we're just going to go for the freaking play action scissors at this point. Anything. Just work. <laughs> just work. And... Oh, gosh. He's like quad coverage back there. And... It's... <laughs> what do I do here, you guys? We go for the field goal, I think. <sighs> that was such a just... Well, it's amazing how one holding call, which is annoying because it was my left guard on a, to on a toss right, 
you know, left guards is essentially irrelevant on that play as long as he just, you know, touches the guy in front of him. Uh, one holding call, which drops us back 10 yards, just completely changes everything. Ah, this is the player turn. Come on, D. All right, we get the ball back. We have got the ball back, so it is now time to, for Joe Nero to show why he should be voted MVP this year over Aaron Stupid Rogers. And we're going to Oh, they're definitely playing back. Oh, they're not. Oh, they're not. Woo All right, well. Uh, I'll just take the run here. There we go. I was hoping Sam was... Well, Sam wasn't one-on-one, -on -one, but he never actually got as open as I hoped he would be. So, I decided to scramble it myself. I'm just looking to get down there and score. If I can get down there and get a touchdown this drive, I'll be very happy. Because, okay, good job, center. 10 out of 10, the way he ignored that linebacker and just ran into the defensive backfield and did nothing. Wow. Let's go for a screen. We're going to go for halfback screen here is CJ. Um, yeah, I don't need to explain it too much. It's a halfback screen. Oh, gosh. They're, oh, oh yes, they actually blocked. Oh, you didn't hold on to this. That might be a touchdown. That might be a touchdown. Oh, man. They sent so many people on the blitz there that it came down to whether or not he could get away from, like, one or two people. And he did. And easy, easy, easy. Come back and go. Come back and go with Sam Nunley. Perhaps Stedman Bailey. And... Oh, it's an interception. Oh, no. Nope. All right. I want, I want, I'll take those shots down the field. That's one of the reasons why I have so many interceptions this year is I'm not afraid to take those shots down the field. You know, no guts, no glory. Am I right? Oh. Uh, do I have a post? I don't have a normal post. Boo. All right, we're going to have to run this against the cover three, but it worked out pretty well. We had Stedman Bailey. But here's the thing. We're now in a weird third and three situation, which I'm not usually happy with. And so, oh, we're going to scramble because I'm comfortable scrambling. Please catch that and go. There we go. I was hoping he wasn't gonna, like going to catch that and run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage or something like that. I was hoping he would do exactly that and come down with it when I need him to. Now, F trail. I'm thinking F trail here, boys. Here's the thing. Stedman Bailey looks to be a little bit tired. Come on, go cover three. If they go cover three, this is easy. And they're not. They're very not. Ah, oh, my fullback was very open, but I needed some more time for him to develop the route because there was a giant cluster of people in the middle of the field that situation. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there was Britt, Nicholas, and Young all there in one spot. And all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So my fullback was really open there. Ah. They actually continue to cover my tight end there. Usually they leave him alone and rush me. Darn right this is a tough situation to be in. This is a crappy situation to be in is what this is. We're going to go for a mesh. Ooh. All right, we're going to go for this mesh here. Perhaps Nicholas Deep. I'm looking for more. All right, it's not going to be more. It's going to be Sunil Conley. Get it, buddy. Uh, don't let them intercept that. Now, do we just go for another field goal here? Like, oh my gosh, we do. Man. It's amazing how much my game has changed when I'm playing from behind. It's a weird situation, right? Because when you're playing from behind, you're in a situation where you can't really afford to run your normal offense because you, you have to have a sense of urgency to it because what if they continue scoring? You never know if they're going to continue to score. And if they do start, like, continue to score and score and score... And you were wasting all those times on the previous drives, you know, it really hurts you. You dig yourself in a hole that you can't get out of. So when you are from behind, I feel so like you always have to, like, play with that urgency. And Sam, come on, man. Let's get some good throws here. How am I doing this poorly, like, throwing? Like, he was so open. It was a cover three. It was a post against a cover three, which works all the time. Sam was wide open. Fastest receiver on my team. And I somehow managed to overthrow him. I'll chalk it up to RNG and bad luck, I suppose. But there we go. We've got Daryl Young wide open. Let's get that hurry up going here, boys. Let's get that hurry up going. Uh, play action, end the round. 
Uh, they're not in cover three. I was hoping for a cover three. Let's go quick slants. Oh, it turns out they were in cover three. Those jerks. All right. Wow, man. I think Joe Nero's uh, confidence here is a little shook for some reason. He is uh, certainly struggling with his throws. That's two very bad passes this drive. And they're covering it, so just jump, dump that off to the tight end, get some yards. All right, so what's it, third and four? All right. We're going to go with the inside cross here. Um, it's typically good for that short chunk, uh, short chunk of yards that we need. I just hope it works, man. We're running out of time here. And nobody was open. Even, even then he drops it. This is such a poor offensive performance. And what's odd is like we put up 30 points the past three weeks. Then there's this week where it's like, nah. Did you just hear the announcers say that he that they should put a new quarterback in? You want to replace me for Ryan Mallet? You put Ryan Mallet in. We'll see how he does. Oh, uh, come on, D. Come on, D. All right. How can I score here? What can I do? I haven't found any plays that just work consistently against this defense this week. They just haven't been there. How about Sam Dunley on a fly route? Does that work? <laughs> Does that work against this defense? Because it worked there. Wow, that was Sam's first catch today. I'm actually a bit disappointed in myself for that being the case. All right. And wide open. Just dump it down to him. Oh, look at Niles go. He's still going. He's still going. That's the end of the third. What's freaking score here, boys? Let's get some freaking points. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Redskins come out with a split backfield. And oh gosh, he was actually covering it. I didn't think he was covering it. Ah, uh, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. Oh yeah, and I love how the Saints have a horrible pass defense, and yet somehow I can't do anything against them. Uh. Oh, he got bumped into. <laughs> Can we not do this? As if they're running out of ideas, Phil. Ways to unlock this defense. Now into the fourth quarter. You would think so. So tired of this. No, no more freaking punting. This is silly at this point. Let's fuck. Let's just do this. Like, we can't find anything. I'm just trying to find a good play, and nothing is working. Oh, wide open. I was so help me if you would have dropped that, man. Whew. All right, hurry up. Let's go. Uh. Uh, I don't even know what to call. More fade smash. When in doubt, more fade smash, right? And that's a wide open. Oh, gosh, it wasn't. God, why do I even lob it up? They never come down with it. I'm noticing a trend. Whenever I lob up the football, it never gets. They never come down with it. It's They go up there, it hits them in the hands, then they get hit, and then they drop it. It happens every time. Nine times out of ten, at least. So, whoo! That was some good blocking. It's a good thing I pressed A because I knew I was going to get hit. So we do all of that just to get ourselves in this situation where... I don't know, man. Nothing's working this week. Oh, gosh. Catch that for love of crime. And he oh, my. Seriously? Like, at this point, what am I supposed to do? At this point, what am I supposed to do? Boot the 51-yard field goal because that puts us within... Oh, God. It puts us within one score. Come on, player. I need you here. We're in a dome, right? There's no reason you shouldn't get this. We're in a dome. We're in a dome! All right. I was really worried he was going to somehow miss that. All right, defense. Defense has stopped. The D has held. Now... I'm going to play this as if we're not from behind because we're down by less than a score. Well, yeah, less than one touchdown. How about that? All we need to do here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think if he, if he would have cut out to the to the left there, he might have gotten even more yards out of that. 
But uh, all you do is get down there and get a touchdown. We score that touchdown. G freaking G. It'll be over, man. And more holding. Great. Just what I wanted to see. Just the kind of thing we need on this drive to kickstart our confidence. Thank you, Sam Brenner. I'm not going to miss you. The defense accepts the penalty. Uh, sluggo seam, boys. Sluggo seam. With Kenny Britt going on a slant. Uh, well, sluggo seam was... Uh, I love how fast they can move. They react so freaking quick. That wasn't there, really. Um, Try another phase smash, man. I hate when we get thrown back off of these freaking holding calls. They're so obnoxious. It's like, here, I'll just put you in a completely unrealistic, super long situation. Oh, my. No, it wasn't. He dropped it. Can you please stop saying it was taken away from as if something miraculous happened besides him just not coming down with the ball? Well, now we need to go to the old shotgun. Uh, that's the wrong shotgun. There it is. This is the right one. Uh, we're going to be looking for Denarius Moore. Going to have to be looking for Denarius Moore here. Perhaps Dale Conley. As they are frequently open on that play. But it's going to be Moore. He's going to drop it. Yep. I can call it before it happens, guys. It's obvious. It's obvious when this stuff is going to happen. We have enough time to get the ball back again. But seriously, we should not have to rely on our defense this much. Like, my offense just doesn't want to try this week, it appears. That was a horrible punt. You might as well boot it out of the back of the end zone, dude. Well, if they score a touchdown here, it's GG, and they did score a touchdown. So that's pretty much GG. Uh, we fell trap or fell prey to a trap game. Uh, no real reason why we should have fell prey to this trap game. Uh, they didn't do anything particularly well against us this week, and besides everything. I mean, our receivers kept dropping passes. Um, I was overthrowing randomly. Don't know why that was happening. I think it's because my confidence is shot, probably. Um, a lot of really bad things this week. I didn't have time to get a run game going because we were playing from behind this entire time. And that's a drop. Oh my gosh, he actually held on to it. Here we go. Here we go, boys. That may be the spark we needed. That may be the spark. Snap the ball, snap the ball, snap the ball while Tubby's off sides. Uh, oh, there he is again. Hurry up, offense, boys. Catch them with their pants down. Do I have a different play in this? Oh, I do. I like to smash fade here. Now as Paul may be good deep here. He may be very good deep here. No, he's not going to be. But, oh, he was so open. You guys can't block. Come on. Uh, that's going to be... We're going to let that go to the two-minute warning. There's no point in me even trying to call a pass play here. Let's get a freaking touchdown. I don't care how I do it. It's uh, some kind of a touchdown pass, man. Uh, straight up five wide. Let's do it. Let's get the old... God, all the plays in this formation are just so awful. Let's go four verts, I suppose. And look for Nicholas coming across, I guess. And that's definitely going to be Nicholas. Nicholas. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Intercepted. Yep. Uh, because I can't throw it where I want to throw it, I suppose. It might, might make sense if I could. I think Nicholas is very slow. I don't know. I don't know. That was just one of the worst. Matt Stafford's hurt even, and they still. Oh, my gosh. Such a bad week. And what's horrible is we may miss the playoffs as a result of this horrible week. May miss the playoffs here, boys, because of this week. It's entirely possible. Could happen. All right. Nicholas going deep does not seem like a very good option to me. My running back, just to try and get out of the shadow of my own end zone, sounds like a good idea. Now we have to do a hurry up. I'm just looking to potentially get a score here before the end of the season. <laughs> More than anything, that's all I'm really looking for here. And, oh! A safety works, too. <laughs> that's... 
literally the worst possible way to end the season. A safety, as I can't put up a single touchdown. What we did, but Sam Burner had the hold. Um, we could have easily won if that weren't for that holding call, I feel so. Because that touchdown would have really made... It would have been a completely different game if that uh, rushing touchdown would have stood. Wow, that was just such a horrible end to the season. That may have been an end to my career as a Washington Redskin. Did you guys think about that? It could be the end. Now, what I typically do um, with regular season finale episodes is I will show you guys, like, the end of the season, I suppose. Like, I'll be like, all right, well, we're going to, uh, you know, we do the weekly transition into the wild card round of the playoffs and we'll see if we're actually in the playoffs or not i typically show you guys that so we're gonna do that this episode we will find out just uh, there's no even highlights to watch why are we even looking at these Ugh. For Phil Sims, Ugh. such a horrible week so long for now. and a big part of it was playing from behind i'm horrible at playing from behind that's something i need to work on it's that sense of urgency to everything that just ah uh, screws me so bad they, they went 7 of 17 passing. Let me guess. Did they just run all over us? Oh, of course they did. Oh, my gosh. They dominated us on the ground. We could not stop it, apparently. Um, we had no real ground game to speak of because we didn't have time to establish one. Um, I went 21 of 42, 279 yards, two interceptions. So bad, man. So bad. I am... So disappointed. I'm fairly positive that I finished out this regular season with more interceptions than I did passing touchdowns. Now, I had a bunch of rushing touchdowns, like seven or something like that. So I had like more touchdowns than I did turnovers, but still, holy criminy, man. So many turnovers. So many. But we're gonna do the uh the advance to the wild card round here. Now, I can almost guarantee that I didn't. <laughs> Uh, get ample MVP uh, this year. We did not make the playoffs. We actually missed the playoffs because of that game. Holy crap. It actually happened. We went 9-7. and seven. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... The Buccaneers made the playoffs because they won their division. We needed to win that to even have a chance at the playoffs. So if we would have won that, um, we would have like been tied record-wise with the Lions and the Cowboys. Now, Lions and Cowboys did not win their division. The Eagles and the Packers won those two respective divisions. The Lions and the Cowboys, are they just squeaked in because they had a good record. If we would have had the same record, it would have been tied. And I'm not sure what the tiebreaker would have been. The tiebreaker might have been like uh, your record against division teams or something like that. Or maybe total points you scored versus points against. I don't know how the tiebreaker goes. But we would have been part of a tiebreaker. But since the fact that we lost, uh, we got knocked out of the playoffs. That was my final game as a Redskin. My final play as a Washington Redskin was me getting safetyed. Wow. That is rough, man. That is rough. Whew. Well, next episode is certainly going to be fun, I think. Um... Yeah, it's going to be the off-season, I suppose. Now, really quickly, I usually reserve this for the off-season. I just want to check. I don't think I won NFL MVP. Ben Roethlisberger won NFL MVP. Oh, yeah. I did not. <laughs> wow. That is... I, only, I have so much XP I can spend on my player, too. But I'm just going to save that, I think. Well, I guess I could. Yeah, I think I'll save it to the beginning of next season. I don't even know how I feel right now. I'm kind of numb, really. Like... That was my last game as a Redskin. I don't want to go back to the Redskins. But part of me is like, I, I played four seasons with them, you know, but they're so inconsistent. They have no talent on that team. Well, on the offense anyway. Uh, defense, so much talent. Um, but on the offense, like Sam Dunley is my best receiver and I act like he's so great. He's a 79 overall wide receiver. He's not that great. Um, Jordan Reed is great. Um, 
CJ Anderson has his moments. He just it's a really inconsistent offense, really terrible offensive line for the most part. Um, and I'm just looking for a new change of scenery. I don't know how the free agency works in this game. I imagine it's going to be terrible. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be like, you know, pick one of these teams, you're not even going to be able to look at the contract offer. Or worse yet, they're going to put me into like some kind of like a window where I have to pick a team. I'm not even going to be able to back out and like evaluate them. They're just like, no, you have to pick now and you're not allowed to look at like what the rosters are like or anything like that. I have no idea what the offseason process is going to be like, guys. But we will handle that in the off-season episodes. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Please drop me a rating. And RIP Washington Redskins, man. Feels weird. Have a great day, guys.